good afternoon or actually pushing into the evening lighter night starting to come um tonight i've come out to try and shoot um behind me well in front of me as i'm looking at the moment i've got the setting sun which is um going to drop behind the horizon fairly soon um i haven't got much of a composition that way um because i'm looking in this direction and hoping to get a shot of the full moon rising from behind Borough Mump. So I'm just gonna get myself set up and then I'll, uh, I'll talk you through it a bit more. Okay, so as with all the, uh, all the full moons, um, they've all been given names. Um, this one, for whatever reason, is called the Worm Moon. Sounds nice. Um, but anyway, this is the first opportunity that I've had to get out and try to get this shot. Um, I've planned it several times, but every time I've been in a situation to come out and get it, then I've been, um, I've been working or the conditions have been wrong. Um, the conditions haven't been clear. Um, so tonight I thought, right, got to try and get it. So fingers crossed. So you won't be able to see it off there in the distance, but right over here on the top of this hill, uh, probably a good a good mile away from me here at least. Um, so I'm shooting with the 300 mil fixed prime lens. Um, I'm not sure what settings I'm going to be at at the moment. I'll have to uh, play with that when the time comes. Um, but by using that long lens um borough mump over there up on the hill is obviously quite small off in the distance hopefully i'm far enough away that the moon rising behind it will uh, will look nice and large so let's hope i'm in the right position okay so um, just doing a few uh, few test shots um, got the mump there set center screen um, zoomed in got myself focused I've locked the focus off now because once the light goes then I'm going to struggle to get a decent focus so um, may change it because obviously at the moment I'm focusing on the mump and I may may want to change that focus to the moon when the moon starts coming up I'm not sure like I say this is a bit of an experiment for me a bit of a new one so um, just uh Wait for that moonrise to come up. Um, like I say, we're we're about half an hour away from it. The sun has just gone down. No, so in fairness, we're we're only about twenty minutes away. So, and then hopefully we should still have just a little bit of light foreground wise, and then the moon come up. Okay, so I've uh, plotted my position using the photographer's ephemeris. Um, using that, I know a lot of people use photo pills, but uh, to be honest, I, I prefer the photographer's ephemeris. Um, just the fact you can you can you, you can set it to use the pitch to see where the horizon is, to see where you are, um, and hopefully to give yourself a a good idea of where you need to do need to be in relation to not only where the moon rise is but when the moon rise is going to come above the horizon to what your location is so um, the test will be in a minute when the uh, when the moon starts coming up um, if not I could find myself running up and down this pathway here trying to uh, get myself in the right position but um, we shall see Right, so I'm constantly taking test shots. It's uh, starting to get 
quite dim now the um look it's looking a lot brighter on this uh osmo pocket than what it is because it's adjusting um but uh currently shooting i've got the iso at 200 at the moment f7.1 13th uh 13th of a second um that's I think that's going to have to come down so um, as long as I'm not getting any camera shake I've got it on a 10 second timer to give the camera plenty of time because I'm shooting with a long lens it gives a you get a lot of camera movement just pushing the shutter so I've got it on a 10 second timer to uh, reduce the risk of that so I think we're all set all we want now is that moon when I was doing my uh, research to try and see where I needed to be um, originally I was another good half a mile if not a mile further further away um, walking up a track and unfortunately I just couldn't get the uh, the right position the time I've got the the borough mump it was sort of hidden there were some trees behind it and some trees in front of it and it just didn't the composition just didn't look right um although i think it would have been a better shot for the moon because i was that bit further away um compositionally it just didn't work so um after walking about a mile up the track i'd turn around and walk a mile back pretty brisk to get back to the truck and then uh find another track that came up that's brought me to where I am now okay so I've put my bag on my back ready because we're really not far away from moonrise now so um, I've put my bag on the back ready so that if I do need to suddenly scarper one way or the other on this track I'm thinking if I'm gonna have to go anyway it's probably gonna be to my to my left um, but we shall see um, I can say it's it's getting close now, so just want to keep my eyes open, waiting for that just the tip of the moon just starting to show. Okay, here it comes. I doubted my position, so started running up through, but then realised actually what I was seeing was something different but now as you can see there the moon is just starting to come up I should be about right I would have been right exactly where I was okay just give you a quick quick look at what we're after what we've got there uh, I've had to keep moving up I'm gonna move again now just have to keep repositioning because the moon is rising at an angle then I'm having to uh, keep repositioning so right I'm gonna get another couple shots okay and just like that within about five minutes the moon goes from just appearing just on the horizon to starting to rise above the mump um, and obviously once it rises above that uh, you start losing perspective of the Scott the size then so uh, so that's it that's us done okay so I'll put a few shots up hopefully you like them and check them out let me know what you think uh, once again thanks again for watching check out uh, some of my other videos and hit that subscription button and the notification bell to keep up the latest content. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That'd be great. Drop a comment down below. So I'm now going to head on home, have some tea. So till next time, take it easy. Okay, so before I show you these images, I just wanted to jump into Lightroom and uh, just show you that actually I've done very little to these. They are pretty much out of camera. So uh, let's uh, get rid of myself so you can see Lightroom. Um, as you can see, um, I've cropped in slightly to make the make the, the 
tower on the top of the mump and the moon more prominent in the frame. Um, other than that, as we scroll down through, uh, I had to increase the exposure very slightly um, because I was just slightly underexposed. I did that deliberately because I didn't want the, the moon to blow out. Um, but anyway, I've, I've managed to just lift that with the exposure, just a bit of contrast. Uh, brought down the highlights in the moon to bring out a bit of detail. Um, and then just lifted the clarity very slightly. Increase the highlights slightly on the tone curve and brought the darks down just to give a bit of detail. And other than that, all I've done in the colors is increased the orange saturation very slightly and also reduced the luminance of the orange because then that's just brought again more detail out. So as you can see, other than that, it's pretty much out of camera a few small light adjustments and there's your image. I'll now show you the rest.